Hey there. We often think of communication as being verbal, that is, performed using words. But there is another element to it, the nonverbal, the signals and the messages that we send using our body in a conversation. We call this body language, and mastering it is key to appearing more confident, interesting, and impressive. In other words, you need good body language to be a successful communicator. So in this video, I'm going to teach you four body language tricks that you can use to impress anyone in a conversation. Let's jump into it. Number one is something I'm sure you've heard many times when it comes to body language, smile. Your smile should express your confidence and enthusiasm. Avoid the resting face. The resting face is when your face is totally relaxed, showing no emotion. This is my resting face. Do you like it? Do you want me to talk to you like this for the rest of the video? No, of course not. Isn't this a lot better? However, a word of caution. It's just not humanly possible to smile all the time. If you keep smiling artificially, your facial muscles will grow tired and your smile will look fake. And a fake smile can actually have a negative effect on your listener. So the solution is smile broadly at the start of the conversation, that is, when you meet someone, and at the end when you say goodbye. But during the rest of the conversation, wear a soft smile on your face, just enough to show that you're engaged in the discussion. This will make you appear genuine and fully present. Number two is make eye contact. You should do this both when you're speaking and when you're listening. After all, the most annoying thing is when you're talking to somebody and their eyes are darting all across the room. Instead, in any conversation, your focus should be your partner's eyes. But of course, I realize that there is a problem with that. When we keep looking into someone's eyes without looking away, it can get uncomfortable pretty quickly with a lot of tension building up between the two pairs of eyes. So here's a simple rule for you to follow. Make eye contact and hold it for a few seconds, about seven to 10 seconds. You don't have to count in your head. Just hold eye contact until you start to feel that tension. Then blink away to the side just a little bit and blink back. This will release that tension. Now, I say blink because if I'm looking at you and I suddenly look away, it's too distracting. So, eye contact for a few seconds as we're talking. You start to feel the tension building. You blink away and then you blink back. Practice this until it feels natural. Number three is use good posture. Posture refers to how you stand or sit, basically how you position your body. There are three keys to good posture. The first is keep your back straight. One of the most common mistakes I see in my trainees, both in conversations and in public speaking situations, is a rounded back with hunched shoulders. This signals a lack of confidence. At the same time, you don't want to puff up your chest like you're ready for a fight. So imagine a piece of thread, a string going up your spine up through the back of your head and out from the top like you're a puppet. Now what would happen if somebody pulled on the thread? Your back would straighten and your shoulders would drop to a natural position. This is a posture which expresses strength and confidence. This is how you want to be. The second key to good posture is keep your chin level with the other person's chin. You don't want to be looking up at them because that looks like you're suspicious. And you don't want to be looking down like you feel superior. Instead, maintain a straight line from underneath your chin to the other person's. Even if that person is taller or shorter than you, this straight line will make sure that your eyes are centered on theirs. The final element of good posture is keep the center lines aligned. Now you might be surprised to hear this, but the center line of your body is actually what indicates your point of interest. Let me demonstrate. Now I'm looking at you, my face is pointed towards you and I'm talking to you 
But am I really interested in you? Where's my point of interest? My point of interest is whatever is on this side because my body is pointed in this direction. But what about now? Now you are my point of interest. This is very important in body language. Your center line should be aligned with that of your conversation partner. And here's a good way to ensure that. Think of your heart. Now the human heart is about in the center of the chest. Imagine that your heart is shooting arrows of positivity and you want to aim these arrows exactly at the other person. If you do this, your center line will be aligned with that of your partner. This position shows that you are fully engaged and interested in this conversation. So the three keys to good posture are keep your back straight, keep your chin level, and keep the center lines aligned. And finally, body language trick number four is control your hands. In any natural conversation, we use our hands a lot. We make lots of gestures. This is good and it's natural. The problem is when you don't have control over it. Oftentimes, when we have conversations in a foreign language like English, we might have trouble coming up with the right words or ideas and this ups our anxiety level. And as a result of that, our heart rate speeds up, our speech rate increases, and our hand gestures get out of control. It's as if our hands begin to speak a language of their own. What message does this send to the listener? Well, it tells the listener that you're nervous or that you lack confidence. So here's what you should do. Make slow and controlled movements like I'm doing now. This shows that you are in control of the situation and that commands respect from your listener. If you find yourself getting nervous, begin to focus on your breathing and consciously slow down your movements. Avoid fidgeting, that is playing with an object your clothing, or even just with your hands. Now, making controlled movements takes practice, so you need to get in front of a mirror. I recommend that you spend a few minutes every day just practicing controlled hand gestures. Get in front of your mirror and talk about something. It could be anything. As you talk, focus on maintaining a firm posture. Remember the string? Notice your hand gestures. Slow yourself down and make controlled movements. Pretty soon, you will see a big difference in your own body language. You and other people will notice that you appear more confident and more impressive than ever before. So those are the four body language tricks you can use to impress anyone. Smile, make eye contact, use good posture, and control your hands. Remember that the most important thing is to practice. Learn to notice your own body language in conversations and to keep improving yourself. That is the one true path to becoming a highly successful communicator. If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Remember to subscribe to this channel to get my latest lessons right here on YouTube. As always, happy learning and I will see you in another lesson soon.